Hello YouTube, Michael Hannum here. Today I'm going to talk about how you can best take advantage of the changes made to the forbidden and limited list to maximize the number of craft points you get. As you're probably already aware, a new forbidden and limited list took effect at the beginning of the month. Consequently, there's a bonus in effect that gives you an additional 20 crafting points if you dismantle a card that was recently placed on the forbidden or limited list. You can get that bonus a number of times equal to the number of copies of a card that the new Forbidden and Limited list would have forced you to remove from your deck. For example, Crossout Designator was previously permitted at three copies per deck and was recently limited to one on the newest Forbidden and Limited list. That means that you can dismantle up to two copies of Crossout Designator and get that 20 ultra rare CP bonus for each of those two cards that you dismantle. So there are two main ways to take advantage of these crafting point bonuses. The first is to simply dismantle the cards you have that were hit on the forbidden and limited list, uh, getting full value of them and essentially allowing you to craft any other card of the same rarity for the amount of crafting points that you're getting for a single dismantle. As you can see here, I have two copies of Crossout Designator. I'm going to dismantle both of them to get 30 crafting points for each, allowing me to essentially exchange each of them for any ultra rare I want. The reason I'm going to dismantle both, even though I may eventually want to use one copy in my deck, is because I'm not using that copy immediately in any of my decks, and I can always craft it again for the exact same crafting point price as the amount I'm getting for dismantling the copy now. In addition, if and when I do craft it again, there's a chance that it'll become glossy or prismatic. So here I go dismantling it. It indicates here that it's subject to the dismantle bonus and I could do it up to two times. There are two applicable cards remaining. I had 83 CP before. I'm gonna go up to 113 by dismantling it. Since this card went from three to one, I can do it twice, so I'm going to do it again. And that's going to bring me from 113 to 143 ultra rare craft points. Since Skill Drain went from unlimited to semi-limited, it only forced duelists to remove one copy from their deck, which means the bonus only applies to one copy of Skill Drain. It indicates that here when it says one applicable card remaining, so I'm just going to dismantle one copy of Skill Drain and get those 30 crafting point super rares. So you could do that for any card on the recently added to the Forbidden and Limited list that you already have in your collection. But what if you don't have a card in your collection that was added to the Forbidden and Limited list? Is there any way to gain crafting points as a result of those changes? And the answer is yes. There's actually a very interesting thread I saw on the Master Duel Reddit that I don't feel got enough attention that players should take advantage of. It contains a strategy where you craft a card by spending 30 crafting points and then dismantle that same card. In the worst case scenario, you'll get 30 crafting points because you crafted a normal copy of it. But in the best case scenario, the copy that you crafted for 30 crafting points will actually be glossy or a prismatic rarity I believe it's called Royal in Master Duel. Uh, and then if you dismantle it, you'll actually get more than 30 crafting points. This essentially gives you a chance at free crafting points. And for the ultra rares and super rares, that's pretty exciting. Take Prank Kids Meow Meow Mew, for example. I don't have this card at all, and I never did. However, it was just limited from an unlimited status, which means there's a crafting bonus for two copies of it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft two copies of Meow Meow Mew one at a time and dismantle them immediately after crafting them. If I craft a glossy or royal rarity, then I will get more than the 30 crafting points I paid to create the card and actually come out ahead. I'm generating the first one. So I got a basic finish card, which I paid 30 CP for. Now I'm going to dismantle the card and get those 30 CP back. Next, I'm going to generate it again because I can do it twice since it went from three to one. Once again, I got a basic finish non-foil. So I am just going to dismantle it, get my 30 CP, and I broke even there. It actually also unlocked a pack a uh, free pull from a pack, which I'll open. <laughs> and of course I got a Meow Meow Mew, but I've already dismantled the two. Next, I'm going to try this trick for the three newly forbidden ultra rare cards, True King of All Calamities, Imperial Order, and Vanity's Emptiness. In order to craft them, you'll need to make sure that you're able to see the forbidden cards by filtering them in. So now I can see True King of All Calamities. I'm going to start with that card and see how I do. I'm spending 30 CP to craft it. I got a basic finish copy. So I'm going to dismantle it and get my 30 CP back. Now let's try Imperial Order. I am going to craft it. Again, I got basic finish non-foil, so I'm going to dismantle it and get my 30 CP back. Finally, let's try Vanity's Emptiness. Again, I got basic finish, so I'll just dismantle it to get my 30 CP back. That may have seemed pointless because in the end I ended up breaking even, uh, just getting one free pack as a result of crafting the Meow Meow Mew since I haven't crafted a card from that set before. Uh, but really it wasn't pointless because there was a chance that I would have crafted a glossy or royal finish card and come out ahead, and if I had, that would have been awesome. For a few minutes of my time, it was totally worth taking the shot and seeing how it would work out. Although it isn't likely that a card you craft is going to be glossy or uh, royal finish, it is a free roll if you have the 30 crafting points to lay out to create the card, knowing that you can dismantle it for the same number of crafting points. If you found this video helpful or informative, Please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.